Hello everybody, I am Super Mario Sonic Lover and welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Adventure DX or Let's Replay rather and last time we did like pretty much more than half of Sonic's story and today we should be finishing said story so let's do this now right off the bat we can actually go to the rest of Angel Island basically because like, if you see here and you look around all of this is meant to be Angel Island like all that in the background and all this because like if you remember like how um, Angel Island like fell into the ocean and all that well this floating island is definitely not like it's definitely not like in the in the ocean like when it's like Angel Island falling into the ocean it's the entirety of it this is just the floating island where the Master em Emerald is um, I don't ask me how like there's this specific part of it still floating in the air but I, I guess like this bridge is just really strong that like, it can just uh, carrot like lift this entire uh, area or this entire island. I I, I don't know. Maybe no. I, I can't even be the f be the fact that the master emerald is almost restored right now, but because like Knuckles uh, was here at the start of his at the start of his story and it's like. And even when the Master Emerald shatters, it's it's still that floating island is still like in the air. So I I, I don't really get that, but yeah, this whole area is meant to be Angel Island because if you look closely in the opening, um, there's this little area to the side when Angel Island falls. That's meant to be the area. That's meant to be the myst the Mystic Ruins, and basically, um, the um, what you call it. The little place that opened up after Angel Island fell is inside that part is all um, Angel Island, so that's why that place, like, that part, part of the wall, like, breaks open and you can go in there. But that's, that's why. So, yeah, for all those who think, oh, Angel Island is, like, stupid small in this game, yeah, not really the case. I mean... I kind of thought the same way for the longest time, so I can't really blame a lot of you, a lot of the, a lot of people. But yeah, that's the basically the real uh, like that's basically um, the the actual the actual reason thing for what uh, what's going on. I, I don't know. But either way, uh, Red Mountain is a. I don't hate this level, but it's kind of one of the weakest. Uh, it's weaker Sonic stages for me like I don't hate this stage like in general like I think this is good for Knuckles but that's my main point here um, this this stage just for the most part it doesn't really feel like it works for Sonic very well like that I do like that it's more platforming focused and like you know I, I do like it when Sonic games do have a good balance of speed and platforming like that's the my that's the essential thing of what a Sonic game should have, in my opinion. But I, I just feel like it, it's not done in a way that really suits Sonic. It feel, it feels like it suits more like a Mario game or something. Well, not exactly, but um, it doesn't feel like it suits Sonic's playstyle as much. Like Emerald Coast, Windy Valley, for the most part. Like it was a bit too speed oriented, but still, um, those stages overall, I feel, are more designed for Sonic. Whereas this is, it just feels like, oh, it, we we uh, made Red Mountain, it was designed for Knuckles, but we need, like, Sonic to have another stage, so, you know, screw it. Let's, let's just make a specific route designed for Sonic to go through. Like, there are multiple routes you can take, but they don't feel uh, like they're designed for Sonic in, again. Like... It just feels like more of a coincidence, to be honest, because like you can tell that Knuckles is designed to glide around here and search for the Master Emerald shards and all that. And the, yeah, this is the only part that actually feels Sonic to me. Like this feels like it belongs in a Sonic stage. Like you have all this high-speed platforming, you have um, just a couple of different routes and stuff like that. But it just this feels a lot more focused than the outside area. But that that's just how I feel. Um, like, one of the reasons why I do actually prefer SA2 over SA1 is because is that every character has their own set of stages, 
and camera please, what was that? <laughs> but um, yeah, every character has their own set of stages and because of that, I feel like the uh, char the stages bring out the best of all the different characters, like um, the Sonic, sta Sonic and Shadow stages, or the speed stages, if you will, are designed really well for the for the speed type characters, as opposed to this game where it's there's only like 11 stages overall, I believe, and they're shared between six different characters. And well, that can be a good and a, good and a bad thing, mostly from a developer standpoint, in that. Uh, what is it? You once you make one stage, you basically made like up to six stages at max. At the same time, though, you're pressured to being able to make a stage that works for all the characters that are going there. You know, so it it's a little bit messy. The game does it fine for the most part, but I just prefer SA2's uh, level design more, like how it handles it better because it's more focused and every stage. Is designed for as with a specific character uh, gameplay style in mind, um, and yeah, I just I, I don't again I don't hate this level with Sonic. Like again, the lava reef esque section is good. Like I enjoy that, and it's still a relatively fun level to play. I just don't think the level design with the outdoors area specifically really fits Sonic uh, gameplay wise. But you know that's just me. Anyways, though, we're gonna be me reuniting with a certain two-tailed friend, and yeah, I I, I just wanna just uh, say my apologies for the last session because oh, <laughs> also yeah, oh, so for some reason my game is like glitched up. Um, it didn't used to do this, but basically Sonic is meant to like jump dash off the edge and Tails would, would uh, catch him but for some reason my copy just has Sonic just kind of slouching to the side for a second I don't know it's really weird but um but yeah what was, what was saying like I, I want to give my apologies for the last session where the game audio was a bit too loud like it was really overpowering my voice but the thing is why I couldn't fix that is because to avoid lag or anything like that, I have to record um, my audio and the game audio in the Amarek file because if I open up Audacity now and do separate a separate recording, it just kind of lags out the video and it just becomes awkward to play and awkward to watch as well, I'd assume. But yeah, either way though, this is another Sky Chase level. Um, it, it's not too different, like it's a basically just a darker kind of atmosphere like the clouds are all like dark and it it gives off a I guess foreboding atmosphere in a sense but even it, it's basically there's not too much different from the uh, first one the only two one differences I can give it are that it's harder obviously and it's longer but other than that it's not really too different from the uh, previous one but it is it doesn't really have to be like that. I, I think these stages are pretty uh, cool. Like it's again, it's a pretty cool um, transition from Sky Chase to uh, from the Sky Chase levels in the in Sonic or the Sky Chase level in Sonic 2 to a like 3D uh, version of that. But yeah, now we're this time we are gonna get shot down and just <laughs> and fail epically. Battle mode transformation, go! And yeah, I, I don't know if this does anything gameplay-wise. It might make the uh, tornado go a bit faster, but I, honestly, it's too minute of a difference to really tell, to be honest. Like, hmm. I guess it makes the target move faster, but even then, it's really hard to tell that with that. But either way... Yeah, there's not too much to say about this. Like, it's pretty simple stuff. Just target everything. Make sure you make sure you avoid all the different stuff firing at you. Because it does get a little bit hectic at this point. Like, just you have all these different things firing at you. But it shouldn't be too bad if you just spam the, the target button. And just 
destroy everything in sight. You should be okay. But yeah. Just make sure you just get rid of this. I no, I, I don't know how much uh, how many points you need for the uh, the uh, secondary emblems because I think you get one from just being the level and then another one one for be it, being it with a certain amount of points. Um, it could be two twenty thousand or something, but don't quote me on that because yeah, I remember the emblem requirements for the secondary emblems in these stages being a little bit uh, strict, but. Um, yeah, now I actually have to fight the cannon, which is actually a lot easier than you probably would would expect because that thing just one shot us last time. But yeah, just keep firing at it, and it's already done. Yeah, it doesn't really hold up much of a fight, or put up much of a fight rather. And we did get twenty thousand, so hmm. I don't know, I'd have to check the uh, requirements for the second emblems, but, yeah. I like how the tornado just kind of flipped on its side. No time to talk now. We need to find it. Or like, yeah, 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 you know, you know. You're right, my friend. So here we go. <laughs> All right. Now here, here we have the third and last hub world. We, oh, well, technically the last hub world. There's technically another a area we haven't been to in the Mystic Ruins yet, but in terms of like actual area, like. Adventure fields. This is the last one. Uh, so, but yeah, there's actually a little cool little emblem you can get here. Just do this. Don't get too many ideas, or that can happen. No. Oh, I love this. <laughs> oh man! Like, really? Again, if we go back here, I think it's the other one. Let's just go here. Yep. Yay, and we get an emblem, and we fell. <laughs> Come on. Uh, just go back up normally. Normally. But yeah, there are some pretty tricky emblems to, that you can find in the. Uh, overworld or the hub worlds like some of them are really obscure like how would you ever ex like, expect someone to find this uh, because there's one in a station square we had to go to um, the area where you where Sonic came out of um, speed highway and there's a little two patches of grass I believe with like some trees there and one of them you have to get an emblem you have to get knuckles next to near like on one of the patches of grass and then just like use the shovel claws to go underground and get an emblem the thing is though how the hell are you meant to know about that like there's no indication about that at all from my knowledge and i don't know it's just kind of random and we kind of felt like a lot of, some of the uh, alternate paths in this stage are a little bit finicky um like, I like the concept for this level, but it, the execution is a little bit off. 
Um, like, it just feels unreliable sometimes to go to certain areas. Like, yeah, I I can really, like, never never get that, like, home and attack chain pathway, like, right. Like, I, I usually just end up falling, so I just not... I usually just don't bother with it. Like, that's the problem with this stage, really. Like, I like the concept, like, all this, like, you're in the... Oh, gosh. Yeah, stuff like that. That's what I'm talking about. But, um... Yeah, it's like... I like the concept of this level. Like, you're really high up in the sky. And it's like... Eggman's, like, airship. And you're just going across the... The, um... The thingamabob. I forgot... I already forgot what this level was called. Um... The, uh... Frickin'... Sky deck. That's it. Yeah, you're going through the sky deck. And... Like, I, I, I'm, I mean, it's a cool concept for a level, but sometimes it's just a little bit awkward to get to certain areas. Like, if it wasn't, if, if it wasn't so finicky in terms of, like, just exploring different routes, I've, I'd say this is a pretty good level, but because it's so finicky, it's just, it's an alright level. Like, if you're just going through the main, like, the standard pathway then it's a decently fun experience but if you're trying to experiment you might have a miserable time because yeah a lot of these pathways aren't really reliable to be honest so it oh gosh yeah you just have to get away from this cannon but yeah it most of the time it's just be say better and safe safer to just take the regular pathway because it doesn't really it's not really that demanding from the player so but yeah, that's that's really the main issue I can have I have with this game. Like it's it's a fun game. Like the level design is mostly really good, but most of the time it's the uh, it's the fact that the game isn't the the most polished that it drags it down a bit. Like again, if this game was like SA2 polished or something, this would probably be um, a really cool level, but. Since it does have those faults, it's just kind of an okay, okay level at best, really. But yeah, uh, I, in terms of like, uh, I guess Eggman Fortress or fortresses and stuff like that, it's not really one of my favorite levels overall, though. Like, I, I'd probably, yeah, I, I play Egg Fleet and Final Fortress uh, over this any day, but. Um, I, I guess like a first attempt at like a wing fortress kind of 3D environment. I think it's a pretty cool, a pretty good first attempt. But yeah, and here you just have to kind of get to the end quickly because these platforms do fall because screw you. Uh, this bit is a bit annoying. Like you have to like try and use these cannons here. That earlier in, in levels you, you use them to get to. And, and specific pathway, but here we had to actually use it to destroy the cannon. And because it keeps moving, trying to aim it, trying to aim this thing into it isn't really the easiest thing, but there we go. And we somehow teleport down here. Alright. But yeah, this is probably the better part, better part of the stage because it's very hard for you. I don't think it's even possible for you to fall into a bottomless pit here, so it's. A lot safer for you to experiment different pathways, but even then, there's not a lot to experiment with here, even any like, anyways. But either way, I think it's the best part of the stage because it is like a lot more safer than the first half. But yeah, I just use this and see if I can cheese my way through this. And no, I couldn't. Yeah, if you're good enough, you can actually, um, like, what the hell? I didn't get any rings, what was that about? <laughs> but no, it's like, if you're good enough, you spin dash off an incline or something, you can poss possibly get to the goal, the, uh, capsule, before, ha uh, without having to do this entire section. And it's actually pretty cool. Alright, let me just get down here. And yeah, I don't think there's any alternate pathways at this point. Like, I think you go, I think you have to take that one specific pathway because if you like jump, you're just gonna fall straight down. So you may as well just follow the specific path. And if I can just 
get here without like falling off. Alright. Come on. Yeah, there we go. And now we can go to the end of the stage. There we go. Yes. Alright. Yeah, not bad. 